check, 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 <clears throat> check, check, check. Hey guys, it's that time again. Thank you for uh, checking out the video. Today is uh, one that I feel good and strong about. Uh, we've been doing a lot of how-to videos and I appreciate you guys watching those. If you haven't seen them, look on back through the channel. There's lots of topics that we cover uh, around overlanding and adventure travel and I, I, hope they're, I hope they're useful, inspiring, they give you some ideas to be prepared when you go out there and find adventure of your own. That's the whole point of the channel. I was asking myself today, what's, a, what's an idea I was brainstorming with Corey and we were talking about an idea that um, might have a long lasting impact beyond the how to's. And, and so title of the video is um, create your traditions. And those are super important. Let me tell you about experience in my own life. Um, uh, my dad had these traditions and I remember them to this day and they were very important growing up. They were kind of an anchor for me. So even as a kid, when things got kind of crazy, we had these anchor traditions and they, they created long lasting memories. And now I've created those traditions, not only with Corey, but with my kids as well. And they are on top of them. So I encourage you guys to create your traditions. It really will create lasting memories. Let me give you some examples. Uh, I'll give you three of our, of our traditions, and I'm going to save the best for last. So the first thing is that um, we tend to be grab-and-go eaters on the trail. We um, want to get out on the trail. We want to start exploring uh, and, and be on the move really quickly. So um, breakfast might look like a bit of granola and some yogurt. Lunch might look like, honestly for me, now I'm only speaking for myself, might look like a cold tortilla, cold hot dog. I'm good. Let's hit the, let's hit the trail. Let's see some more stuff. Um, so very basic, but one of our traditions. After a few days in, have a steak. Have a, a good meal. It doesn't need to be a steak, but a good meal. Something with good vegetables, maybe fresh vegetables, a, a nice slab of meat for us, and some good starch. Because you can eat, grab and go for a long time. But man, on day three or four, when you have that steak out there in the middle of no place, you're looking out over the horizon, you have that nice steak. It's an awesome tradition and rejuvenating too. Second tradition, one tradition. It's also, hey, I'm just realizing a lot of these are food related. Uh, another tradition, the day we are packing up to head to point the front of the rig home, um, we have danishes. So <laughs> we, we have warmed danishes. So whereas most mornings are quick grab and go, when we're pointing the truck to head home, we will, we will, we will have our pastries, we'll warm them up in a pan, and we'll have those before we hit the road. Now along with that is a, uh, a little canister of, of coffee that we take uh, with us. So that is another tradition. Maybe more, m m most mornings are, are grab and go, but final day we have warmed danishes. And the final tradition, this is my favorite. This is a, a, a memory um, that, it, you know, I, uh, that my, my father started and I carried over to my kids. Um, emergency rations. What are emergency rations? Well, as the name would imply, um, they're something that you have uh, stowed away uh, most of the time that you can get when you need it. Our emergency rations are gummy bears in the glove box. Uh, they're always there. We always, we always replace them. We make sure there are gummy bears in the glove box. Traveling down the road, every once in a while, one of the kids will say, <gasps> It's time for an emergency ration. Now, I don't like startling noises. I don't like it when people go, huh, but it actually helps me to kind of chill out too. It doesn't deaden the senses. I'm always like, what? But then they're like, emergency rations. 
and then we'll get the emergency rations out of the glove box. And we all, we oh, some further rules. You get three gummy bears and you can't select color. You just have to blindly grab your gummy bears and you get three and that is your emergency ration. And I remember it from when I was a kid. I'm sure my kids will remember it for a very long time. So I encourage you, it doesn't have to be around food, but create your traditions and it's something that'll create memories you'll carry with you for a lifetime. And after all, that's what adventure travel is all about. It is really about creating memories that you can cherish. That's what life's all about. All right, you guys, hey, I hope this was fun. I know it's not a tip, but I hope it gives you something to think about and, and hopefully it'll have a long lasting impact. All right, you guys, till next time, we'll see you on the trail.